Good morning. I just wanted to um, share another um, psalm with you this morning. As you know, um, I was saying to you yesterday that the psalms are the most favourite things in my, in my um, life for as I read the Bible. I love the psalms so much. And I just want to bring some encouragement to you every day and um, while it's the lockdown to keep on encouraging us. And um, I just want to read to you uh, from Psalm 23. You know, so often with Psalm 23, you, you actually hear it uh, sometimes read at funerals and things like that. And I just think, oh, you know, it's yes, it, it's, it's good. They can be read at funerals, but it, there's so much in this psalm, um, you know, for us today and, and for every day of our lives. So I'll just read this psalm for you and then I'll just um, share a few little thoughts with you about this psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, and your rod and staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And it's just that picture of the shepherd, really. You know, um, many years ago, I, I was sort of studying this and, and looking this up and, and just realising that the shepherd actually um, spends a lot of time with the sheep, keeping them out of harm, making sure they're safe, making sure, um, you know, the wolves don't come and attack them. And I even saw the picture of actually of the shepherd carrying the sheep over his shoulders and and you know I, I, I just think it's an amazing picture. I could sort of go on about that, but really I wanted to share some other things. But the picture of the shepherd and how he takes care of the sheep is the picture of how the Lord wants to take care of us. Because he wants to take care of us every day. And and part of this psalm is talking about how the Lord wants to provide. The Lord wants to provide for us in many ways. And one of those provisions is spiritually he wants us to, to be fed and, and to be looked after and to take care of ourselves. And he, he's promised to provide all that we need if we stay close to him. And that he is our shepherd. I already said he would look after us. He would take care of us. He will keep us safe and make sure that we're okay. He will, he will feed us with spiritual food. If, we, you know, if we're hungering and, and thirsting spiritually, the Lord wants to feed us. He wants to be able to, to give us that, that fresh bread for every day. And another an amazing thing about this psalm that really means a lot to me is that um, in this psalm it talks about guidance and so often we are we are asking questions about what should we do, where should we go, how how is this going to happen, all these kind of things. But we can take all of those questions, we can take all of those things to the Lord and he will guide us. Sometimes when God guides us and he shows us things, it's not always immediate. Sometimes we have to wait because God is, is teaching us something through that period, through that time in our lives. So God has promised that he will guide us. If we stay close to him, he will guide us and take care of us. And he, he is our leader. He will lead us. You know, if, if, if you need to know the way ahead, you know, sometimes we, we try to rely on our own strength, but God has promised to lead us. And, and he will also lead us in the right paths because there's the right paths and there's the wrong paths to follow in our lives. But if we stay close to the Lord, if we stay close to our shepherd, if we stay close to our King of Kings and Lord of Lords, he will lead us in the right paths. And another thing that really um, encourages me so much, this psalm talks about restoration and God wants to, the Lord wants to restore and give back to us. Um, you know, so much things. I mean, some things that have been taken away from us. He wants us to bring restoration into every area of our lives. And um, this also, if you look at this psalm again, it also talks about, um, as I'm looking down it again and, and glancing through it, it also talks about having you know, confidence in God um, because sometimes we don't have confidence and, and the Lord wants us to know that confidence afresh today confidence that he is taking care of us he's looking after us he's watching our every step he's watching our every move even at night time he wants to give us confidence and even if we face death and we face things that are, that are frightening and and you know are causing us fear and apprehension you know and, and uh, we're struggling the lord you know will help us in those times this is what this psalm says we will know we will know that satisfaction spiritually you know we will we'll feel full, fulfilled and full up spiritually and um, God has promised to give us that spiritual food to look after us. And, and I think another thing, just as we're coming to the end of, of looking at this psalm, 
it's talking about um, surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And, and we know that, that God is a good God. So often we, you know, we hear that, that song, you know, um, God is good all the time, all the time God is good. God is good. And even in these times, if we just focus on God's goodness, on all the things that he has done for us, in all the ways that he's been good for us, you know, in his goodness, you know, if we focus on those things, if we look at God's character and his attributes and just look at, you know, how amazing he is, surely th this will help us in these days. He's a good God and he's worthy of our praise all the time. So, Lord, I do just want to pray today um, over us, um, over all these people that will be watching in on this video. Lord, I just thank you that you are our shepherd and that you will take care of us, that we're your sheep, you will take care of us. Lord, and we just want to come and yield and surrender every area of our lives afresh to you this day, Lord. Lord, we just we just say protect us, take care of us, look after us, guide us, uh, Lord, restore us. We just want to thank you for your goodness today, that you're from everlasting to everlasting, you never change. Thank you and praise you for this new day that you've given us, Lord. And we just take hold of the truth of your word, we take hold of, of your name, we take hold of your power, and we just lift you up and we thank you and praise you, God, for all you're going to do in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching.